This is Dr. Jackson, and we are going to be looking at a um, series of videos here coming up talking about some specific uh, discrete dis probability distributions. And the simplest one we're going to look at first is a discrete uniform distribution. So in a discrete uniform distribution, there are a finite number of values of the random variable, and the number of different values for x let's say it's n the PDF is a constant function so the probability is the same uniform for each possible value of x either it's either 0 or it's all the same which is uh, and which is actually 1 over n so P of x is 1 over n for every x that actually has a non-zero probability so that means in the graph the bars will all have the same height and of course we've looked at some examples of this before well, since all of the x values have the same probability, the unweighted mean of the x values is the same as the mean of the distribution. And you can see that here. Mu is expected value of x, which is a sum of x times the, the PDF of x, the probability of x. But since the x is one, uh, the probability of x is 1 over n every time, <coughs> that doesn't change as k changes. That can be factored out front. And we have the sum of the x's over n, which is the good old-fashioned just mean of all the x values. So normally you can't do that, right? Normally in a discrete distribution, you have to weight that average by um, how many, uh, by the different probabilities. That's, that's why you have this probability of x function right here, the PDF function there. It weights them based on uh, probabilities or, or relative frequencies. And so um, we need that normally, but since they all have the same probability, we could just just do a mean of the x's. And the same thing is true for the variances. Uh, the variance is expected value of x minus mu square. That's x minus mu square times the probability of the x. That's the PDF of x. That is just 1 over n. Again, it can be factored out front. And we have the sum from k equals 1 to n of x minus mu square over n, which is exactly just the variance formula for a population. Remember, these are populations. So you want to think of the, uh, these probability distributions as populations, so they have parameters, not statistics. We use mu for the mean, not x-bar. We use sigma for standard deviation, not, uh, not s. And, of course, we use the formula here with the n. So an example of this was rolling a, a single die, and the x values were either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, and the probabilities of all of them were 1 sixth. Uh, so the PDF function is uh, just one-sixth for the Y value, for the PDF value, for the probability value. And the bars are all the same height. Again, one-sixth in height. The mean and the median uh, are actually both uh, 3.5. So if you average, uh, just do a regular average of, of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, you'll get 3.5. Or if you just take it and do it the, the way you normally do, by 1 times 1, 6, plus 2 times 1, 6, plus 3 times 1, 6, and so forth, you still get 3.5. Uh, it turns out that the variance is 35 twelfths, or about 2.916 with the 6 repeating. Standard deviation is approximately uh, 1.707825. has zero skewness. It's completely symmetric on this particular one here. So there's an example of a, of a discrete uniform distribution. 